The San Francisco Carbon Fund was started in 2009. Um, it's basically legislation that was passed by the Board of Supervisors and the Mayor's Office for the City of San Francisco. They passed legislation that said, okay, 13% of the cost of the city air travel is going to go into a fund and we're going to use the money in that fund to do local projects that are going to mitigate and sequester greenhouse gas emissions. The grants that we're giving, they're anywhere from $15,000 to say $80,000 for a two-year two grant. I'm Sean Rosenmoss. I'm the manager of Development, Community Partnerships, and the San Francisco Carbon Fund for the San Francisco Department of the Environment. We have an advisory committee that meets once or twice a year to talk about, okay, what are we going to fund? Because we want to look at things like equity and innovative projects and being able to be nimble and would the project be funded if there were no carbon fund. I heard about the carbon fund because I used to work for Department of Environment on the school education team. My name is Marcos Major. I am the founding director of Climate Action Now. Climate Action Now started in 2011. Our main goal is to remove cement in the public sphere, either in schoolyards or in the public uh, right of way on sidewalks to build out educational gardens that teach people about climate change. If it's a greening grant, 70% of the funding has to go for capital. It has to go for trees to be planted. It has to go for the plants. It has to go for digging up the pavement because, again, this is about permanent carbon savings. The James Lick Middle School Dinosaur Garden and Vegetable Gardens was chosen because the, the school itself has been covered in asphalt since 1932. The Carbon Fund was our seed funding for this whole project. The whole yard itself, I believe, is around 84,000 square feet. And our project, we removed 3,126 square feet of cement. We generally issue a greening RFP every other year and that's for projects that are gonna dig up pavement, plant trees, community gardens, school gardens. We were awarded $43,000 for this project. The produce that we grow here is uh, consumed by and large almost entirely by the school community. In the organic vegetable garden here at James Lick, we're growing all kinds of organic vegetables from lettuce to loroco and um, we're gonna get some artichokes in the ground. We have lemons, we'll be planting apples and loquat, um, all kinds of great fruit trees and veggies. So our first project was the dog patch and biodiesel fueling facility. The need for that was that we've got a lot of people in San Francisco who have diesel cars that they are running on biodiesel and they were having to drive over to Berkeley. So in 2009, we gave dog patch biofuels, the cost differential between biodiesel and regular diesel. We have funded so many gardens and tree plantings around the city and one of the ones I really love is um, the Pomeroy Rec Center. Pomeroy Center has its roots back to 1952. Uh, we've been on this site since 1974. I'm David Dubinsky. I'm the CEO of the Pomeroy Recreation and Rehabilitation Center. We are uh, one of the larger providers of rehabilitation and recreational services for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities in San Francisco. We also have a program for individuals that have acquired brain injury or traumatic brain injury. And we also have one of the larger after-school programs for children with special needs that serves the public school system. The SF Carbon Fund for us has been the launching pad for an entire program here at the Pomeroy Center. We received about $15,000 where uh, the money was really designed to help us improve our garden by buying plants and material uh, and also some infrastructure like uh, a drip system for plants. We have um, wine barrels that, that uh, we repurposed to collect rainwater. We had actually removed uh, over a thousand square feet of concrete so that we could expand the garden. This is where our participants during the day come to learn about gardening. 
they learn how to work in the greenhouse. We have uh, plants that we actually harvest and uh, eggs from our chickens that we take up and use in cooking classes so that our participants learn as much as anybody else where food comes from. We have two kitchens here at the Pomeroy Center. One is more of a commercial kitchen and one is more set up like a home kitchen would be. And in the home kitchen, we do a lot of cooking classes, how to make uh, lasagna, how to cook some eggs. So this grant that we received has tremendous value, not only for our center, for the participants, but for the entire community. The thing about climate, climate overlaps with everything. And so when we start looking at how are we gonna solve climate problems, we solve a lot of other problems too. We create a lot of really great opportunities and solutions. This is a radical project, um, and to be a part of it has been a real honor and a privilege to work with those administrators with the SF Carbon Fund at the Department of the Environment. San Francisco Carbon Grant, to, uh, for us, opened the door to a, a, new, a new world that we didn't really have before. The, the result is this beautiful garden when you look at the community gardens we've planted in schools and in neighborhoods, how many thousands of people now have a fabulous place to walk around and feel safe being outside and are growing their own food. That's, that's, that's a huge impact and, and we're just gonna keep rolling that out and keep rolling that out.